friends, so today we're talking about craft room organization or craft supply organization. You might not even have a craft room. You might not have a craft space at all. You might be crafting at your kitchen counter, at your kitchen table, in your bedroom. I have been in all of those places. I've not always had a craft room. And so I'm gonna share with you some tips and ideas on how to organize yourself so that you're going to be able to maximize your craft time or have more fun with it. It's no fun to have to pull things out of closets and drag things out of here and there. And candidly, if you're like me in the old days, I lost stuff. I would buy things and then I had no idea what I did with them. And when it came down to time to craft, I couldn't find them and I would be so frustrated. So today we're just gonna talk tips and ideas on how to organize yourself so that you can maximize that craft time. So if you are new here, you are crafting with Kim Byers. Let's get into it. Okay, so tip number one. And I wish that I had had this way back when, when I didn't have any kind of a craft space. And I think it would have been an absolute game changer for me. You need a cart. And I'm talking about a cart on wheels. Something that can be storage in itself. Not an expensive, extravagant cart. You don't need something, you know, like those big things that roll out to be, you know, 10 feet wide. If you can afford that, that is fantastic. But what we're talking about today is a cart so that you can hang things off of it. You can put your vinyl, your iron on, your paper, your Cricut, all the things can go on the cart and then you're able to wheel that cart over to wherever your craft space is. I mean, like if you're working at your kitchen table or your kitchen countertop or somewhere in your bedroom or the floor, <laughs> but you're able to like literally you know, cart it over and then when you're done, instead of having this strewn mess, which is what I used to have, out in the middle of your living space, which would drive me insane, you're able to just put it back on the cart, right? And wheel it back out of sight, out of the way, until you're ready to use it again. So before we go any further into the next tips, let's stop and look at a cart. We're gonna start from scratch with this one and it's a bit heavy. <laughs> Okay, and so there we have it. Everything is out of the box and we have 16 pieces. They're all marked, so you can see there. And I think the last one is this box of probably bolts and things like that. So let's get assembling. Okay, so best news ever, there is an assembly video that you can watch. I will say that this took me about an hour and a half. This kept happening to me. <laughs> <laughs> I kept dropping the little tool, I mean, Crafting is my thing, but assembly is not really my thing. So just know that it's going to take you a little bit and um, watch the video. And then I, the things that I would add to that is you're going to absolutely have to have a Phillips head and a flathead screwdriver. And you're going to want a level to make sure that your drawer is level. There's nothing worse than a, a drawer that is, you know, like whoppy jaw. To, I can't stand that. So you just want to make sure that you do that. It's actually super simple. If I can put it together, anybody can put it together. I didn't even have my husband or my son help me except for just like for two minutes when I needed like an extra set of hands. Other than that, you got this. Once your drawer is complete and level, then you can just go ahead and put on the little hardware and things. And I'll talk about this in a minute, but I think there is room on this guy for more hardware. And then you can place these um, little dowels here. So these could be great whether you're doing t-shirts, vinyl, whatever the case may be. It turned out great. All the holes lined up and the wheels work great. I think it's a win. Now, if for some reason you can't do the cart right now, stick with me because there are other tips I have for you that could go somewhere else. Okay, so I want to stop and let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Craftit, which is the company that created the craft cart, the one that we're talking about today. But before I would share it with you, I actually asked them to ship it to me, let me put it together, let me play with it, let me make sure that all the bells and whistles worked and that I liked all of the things. And then if I liked it, that I would share it with you guys. And I have to say that I'm impressed. I'm very happy with it. It is not a massive cart. I think it's a really good size for your Cricut, your Cricut Explorer, Maker, Joy. It fits all those things. It could very well fit your sublimation printer. Okay, so tip number two. So now that you've seen this cute cart, right? Do not put anything on this cart that is not a craft supply. Don't let it be the treadmill, right, from the 90s, right? Everybody get the treadmill and then it became a clothes hanger. This cart is specifically only for you. It's 
if you're making cards, it's for your cards. If it's for t-shirts, it's all your t-shirts. If it's for your vinyl, if you're making mugs, whatever the case may be, keep it clean. Keep it only your stuff. And if you buy something new, go ahead. If you don't have the ability to like, you know, organize it into your space right then, go hang it. There's a little hanger on the side of this cart. Hang it there in the bag so that when you get back to crafting, you're able to then put those things onto your cart. Okay, so tip number three. I love baskets and little pails and all those kinds of things. Those are great ways for you to organize and for dollars. So you can, at the Dollar Tree or at um, some of the dollar spots in stores, Hobby Lobby, they all have these little pails and little baskets and things for a dollar or two. And so grab those things, make your cart prettier because the prettier it is, right? The nicer the organization, the more attractive it is, you're not going to mind dragging it out into the middle of your house and working from it. Okay, so before I tell you tip number four, I wanna tell you this. You see them all over people's craft rooms all the time that they put their iron on and they put their vinyl and that kind of thing in you know color-coded order um, and that is pretty it is pretty I will give you that and I just said make it pretty but I will warn you um, that you need to be careful exposing those things to light so like if you have all of your colors out there and so maybe you're you know you're crafting but you're not using it all up you're not crafting and, and you know um, getting rid of everything in the period of a month or even two months and it's sitting there especially if it's in light it will fade your product and so i just don't want you to have it out and it's cute and all that good stuff and it's ombre but then it's ruined and you can't use it well i would say it's not going to completely ruin so like that top layer whatever's on top is going to ruin it's going to fade but anything underneath that, as long as it's, you know, ran, wound tight, it'll be okay. So just keep that in mind whenever you're displaying or putting things out there. You may want to consider a little basket and putting those inside the basket and then tucking those away or using the drawer and tucking those things away in a drawer. Um, you want to do that with all your vinyl, your iron-on, and your sublimation, um, things that are printed, because the sun will kind of suck that color out. Tip number four add to it so there is a whole side of this cart and there's a back to this cart especially if you're not wheeling it up against a wall add to it you can use command strips and things like that to add more hooks to add more things hang your rulers off of them hang your scissors do your best to maximize this cart so that you're able to put things all over it all around it okay so tip number five and this saves me a ton of time organize by color so if you are organizing um, your sewing supplies so organize all your threads together it helps me to like be able to glance at things when i know when i'm running to the craft store because you know i'd love to say that i plan well in advance and i don't <laughs> or if i need to tell my husband like go in my craft room and look and see what i have or take a picture of it it's all organized by color now tip number six it six <laughs> i would say save glass jars if you have the ability to save some glass jars and like and I know like pickle jars and and like odd shaped like top like olive jars and things like that and soak the labels off of them and if the lid bothers you you can even paint you know spray paint all the lids so that they're a cute color but it is a free free way for you to be able to get organization out of that so like I put like on my cross stitch threads and things I've done that with mason jars okay and so my tip number seven if you are going to spend a little bit of money on organizing like the drawer and things in your cart go to like Walmart or something like that or the dollar store and get those clear containers those clear for makeup you know so like the little inserts into your drawer get those and you'll be able to put all of your smaller items whether it's your Cricut blades in the drawer and out of the way and tip number eight and this isn't exclusive once again it's not exclusive to a cart or anything like that but use Ziploc bags so when you have small pieces of vinyl and you have you know small pieces of iron on and that kind of thing they can still be used depending on how big they are i use small pieces all the time put those by color into ziploc bags press them flat press all the air out of them and you can store them so easily and especially in a drawer and my last tip is 
use your supplies. I know what you're thinking, like, what's she talking about? So when I was first crafting and I didn't have a craft space and all that kind of thing, I tended to hoard supplies. Now, if you craft with me, you know, I like to save supplies. Like I'm not gonna throw away remnants. I'm going to keep those things. But when I was first crafting, I would like, I wouldn't do something that I really wanted to do because I was like, oh my goodness, I'm gonna waste my supplies. If you are enjoying crafting, if you are enjoying the projects that you're working on, take it from someone who let some materials literally get too old. Iron-on can get too old, vinyl can get too old, and then you can't use it at all. So just go ahead and use your supplies, enjoy and have fun, watch for sales, and be able to you know grab those things when they're going. There's so many sales coming our way over the next several months. Um, being the time of year that it is and so just use your supplies have fun and enjoy your crafting okay so i hope you enjoyed organizing your small space with me today and that you will stick around for my next video and we can craft together see you there